another car review on the same day. And this is Dustin with his Lotus Evora. What's going on guys? How are we? Oh, gotta... We're doing great now. This... <laughs> we got a great lineup today. <laughs> this is my 2013 Toyota Camry. Actually, it's an Evora, but uh, they use the Camry <laughs> engine in it. So it's basically just a shell. So you're, uh, you're a big Toyota guy, I know that. Uh, apparently now, you know, I started <laughs> off, I had a G35 and an R32 Skyline GTR and uh, progressively started flipping cars and things like that. Had a BMW uh, 8 Series from the 90s. Um, sold that off and then it somehow found myself with a 4Runner, uh, an FJ40, a Supra, um, and now this thing's Toyota based. So changed the whole Instagram handle to Toyota Moda from GT RAR 32. Toyota Moda, right there. Oh. So yeah, technically I guess this falls into the Toyota category, if you will. I was thinking that uh, earlier today. <laughs> and uh, you know, all in the name of reliability, even though I've somehow blown two Toyota engines in the last year, so <laughs> it's pretty cool. You put them through the test. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, this thing is beautiful. Pretty much spotless. The uh, interior is so sick on the, the tone difference for the outside. Awesome. Yeah, it's almost that Ferrari red on tan look. Yeah. Should we just pop everything open and like? Sure. Re there's not much. Around? There's not much to it. So. Okay. The front doesn't really open. Oh, wait, under there, huh? Well, that's a reach. We got one <laughs> tiny little guy. <laughs> the, the hood. hood. <laughs> Whoa. Basically, you know, Whoa. washer fluid and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a clam. So. Basically, Lotus does this clam shell thing, okay. so it's all bolted down from here to there. And if you ever had to get it to anything, which is really just a radiator up front, you have to unbolt all this stuff. It's like a 12 hour job just to get the shell off. Let's it's hope the that same for the back as well. Yeah. Really? So that's how this whole thing, if you wanted to take the engine out, replace the clutch, anything, <laughs> all this has to come off. That's crazy. Basically, everything's just crammed into this. We've got my car cover here. It is a tight fit. I might have to give you a, a low score on uh, storage space. <laughs> yeah, well, but it has back seats. I have to take a look at this. It has some leather upholstery. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's the back seat. <laughs> yeah, that's it. There's gonna be no back seat. And then there's really not much to it under here. I like those lights. You know, this cover yeah. hides a basic. Camry V6. Yeah, straight up Toyota right there. The big old intake on it. Huh? You did a good job covering it up, I'll say that. Oh playing. yeah. <laughs> I like that back window though. It's the biggest <laughs> window ever. You can see a lot through it. Figure. Look at this interior. What this thing is that? sick. Yeah, what if we need to redo that? Yeah, yeah. The three yeah. pedals. It's a five, six speed. Six speed. Six speed. Nice. And it's uh, actually like a gated shifter, even though it's got the boot. It just locks into place. Oh, it's sick. Got a nice like feel. Like Solid, door simple, door. clean dash. Yeah, there's not a lot. You know, it's got that supercar look and feel, but the, the reason these things were cheap is it just kind of had your basic necessities. The fact that this has heated seats is even kind of a big deal. That is a big deal. <laughs> you know, Lotus in general is pretty minimalistic, so there's not even a cup holder. Well, shall we take a quick ride in it? Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Well, here's a nice shot of it. And when we come back, we'll get a good photo. We'll just, yeah, we'll, we'll run, in, run inside real quick. Okay. Give we'll us we'll be back in like two minutes. Ugh. It hugs you in here. This is nice. Yeah, and it's got Recaro's, which are stock. So that's kind of a nice feel. A little bit of a racing seat. This is stock, so they had two options, a Pioneer and an Alpine from the factory. And basically because they just source everything kind of piecemeal. There's some Ford like switches in here, some of the window <laughs> buttons are from Ford. Yeah. So Lotus just kind of borrowed a ton of things to kind of cobble this together. And it handles like it's on rails. Yeah, it sounds sick with that engine right behind you. You can f basically feel the engine behind you. Oddly, it's kind of hard to say, but look at that body line. That's sick. Yeah, so as soon as I picked this thing up, that weekend I had it back, there was an event at Gateway Raceway. So I got to have this thing out on the track. And I had only driven it for like three days. Um, had no idea what I was in for, <laughs> but this thing was so planted. And I think we got it up to like 128 on the track, which 
you know, not really that fast in terms of car things, but it handled fantastic. Every turn was so flat and planted and just every steering input was just so instantaneous and direct. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got such a lightweight on the front end. It's a, like a box shape, but it's so tiny and wide with the big tires in the back. It seems like you're just driving like a, like one of those mini F1 cars. <laughs> it, it really does. And bang for the buck, I mean, this thing, like at one point they dipped all the way down into the 30s, like 30K range. Now they're, you know, the car market's crazy right now. So mm -hmm. uh, this is the base model. So even then these are probably going for 50K or something now, but these things are compared to kind of 911s and, and you know, even an alternative to someone who might want you know, an entry level Ferrari or something like that, but they want the reliability of a Toyota. It's got parts from a Camry. You could have it serviced at Toyota or Lotus, the only problem is getting into some of the engine compartments and stuff. That's what's tough. So yeah. anything labor-wise, you're going to be taking off all sorts of paneling. Under the car is mostly sheets of aluminum, so it kind of keeps it aerodynamic and, and flat. But each one of those has tons of little bolts that you got to unscrew. And I'd easily argue that I would 100% have this over a 911 or a Ferrari because of like how simple it is, you're saying. and. The cheap parts. So I think when they first released this model, it was like 2009. Over 12 years or so, they only released 2,000 of these. So you'll you'll see them from time to time. Got some buddies around here with them, but it's a pretty rare car. You know, we're lucky we have a Lotus dealer here. You don't see them all the time. And yeah. this was Lotus's attempt to kind of get more luxury, right? All their other cars, like the Elise, were smaller and kind of meant for pure track experience. This one was meant to be taken to the track, but they actually took it seriously, put some leather, you know, trim in here, added more weight. Normally Lotus is focused on purely weight savings. Um, this was kind of a mid-level like, hey, we'll give you the weight savings, give you the fun car, but you can kind of drive this to a nice restaurant if you want to as well. They did a good job at that, I'd say. There's a perfect amount of room in here just for two people and a little bit of luggage in the back and it's, it's nice, man. All right, dude. I'm gonna go grab Jacob, and he's gonna be over here real quick. All right, Jacob. <laughs> Lotus time! <laughs> it's my turn. Hey. What's up? I'm excited. It smells good, looks good, feels good, sounds good. Yeah, we'll have to kind of take it out and open it up. The cool thing is the intake's like right behind your ear over here, so you can kind of hear it. Which way do you want to go? I'll be happy wherever we go. Yeah, and when I got it, it only had 8,000 miles on it. Wow. Now it's got 11,000 because I drove it from Fort Lauderdale. So. What's it been like putting on those, whatever, 3,000 miles? Comfortable. Driving that long of a road trip, I, you know, I've done it in my Supra, done it in plenty of other cars over the years, and my back always hurts really bad. And this thing um, felt great. Oh, it sounds nice. Like I said, it's a Toyota V6, but it sounds a little bit more exotic, especially with the shorter exhaust. And it's a stock exhaust. No, look at that. St. Louis. STL 314. We love, we love St. Louis here. Ooh, oh, that is so punchy. Do you slide around corners often in this? Not often. I'm I'm actually kind of scared to do anything that I might lose too much control with that rear engine. Yeah. You know, I, I know it's easy to kind of lose complete control of it when it slides out from behind you, but when I feel like there's plenty of room to make a mistake, I uh, like to let it out a little bit. Makes sense. But yeah, this is one of the more pricey cars I would think to, to fix, so I don't want to do it. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Anything, I ba I probably baby this more than any other car I have. Ken and Barbie feels nice with the convertible type thing. However, this car is just, the feeling, everything, the hydraulic steering, the kind of gated shifter that just clicks into place. Yeah, it's... I, it's so much more fun. It seems it very tactile. Has about the same power as a Super. This has just a little bit more, but not not a ton on paper, but it's lighter. Um, it just, it handles like a go-kart. The Supra handles like a, I don't know, a GT car, like, like a long long haul cruiser. Um, it's kind of a boat in a way, and this is just nimble and, you know, everything's precise. The steering's just Yeah, there's no point. delay, you shark. 
What's up, boys? Hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Is it recording? Oh, I'm on live. You're on live. Shit. <laughs> So, Lotus Evora, it's really cool. Super cool. So sitting in it as a passenger is a 10 out of 10 experience because it feels really good, it's got the sports seats, it smells really good, it's got that leather. You feel safe. That's you do, one. you do feel safe. I don't feel safe in your car. Well, <laughs> <laughs> this is a, uh, out of every category, I think, uh, comfortability is pretty solid. Except, now, if we did a backseat review though, that'd be different. <laughs> <laughs> There's the backseat. <laughs> yeah. But for a general car review, let's start. Comfortability. It's great. Very great. comfortable. Ten, I'm gonna give it 10. Okay. It's solid for what it is. And it's simple, which is nice. The, the power, driving, and everything seems really solid. It seems very balanced and nimble. I feel like this would definitely just carve up a track. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Only because I know there's a supercharged version of it. Yeah. And that one's gonna take the 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, the amenities of like storage, gonna gonna go with a yeah. I don't think there's a cup holder in there, so. <laughs> oh, there's a cup holder? No, there's not. Oh, okay. For what it is, solid, but for thinking of like keeping things in there, that's like a six out. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'll the worst. And then, um, what's the last one? Oh, style, 10. I mean, the style is beautiful. Easy, 10 out of 10. No doubts. I'm gonna give it 11 out of 10. The interior just makes it that nice. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take yeah. it. And be sure to follow him, Dustin, behind the camera on Instagram. How's it going? Toyota, Toyota Moda. Lotus Evora, super cool. Like this video, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on our next review. Yeah, we got more coming. Woo woo!